Hi, I'm Scott Steedman, Director of Standards at BSI. I have primary responsibility for the delivery of BSI's role as the National Standards Body for the UK. I'd like to start by extending a huge thank you to our 11,500 committee members who contribute their time and effort participating in the development of international, European and national standards to support the UK economy throughout the world. 2017 was a big year for us and we did a lot of heavy lifting both in terms of standards development and international, European and national policy work. We increased our engagement with industry, with stakeholders, with government and with the consumer community and we rebuilt our consumer and public interest network uh, to be more vibrant and successful. This year, in 2018, we anticipate the publication of ISO 45001, Occupational Health and Safety. This is going to be one of the most important new international business standards, and it's come on a long journey with a huge amount of work from a lot of people to get it to this stage. We anticipate that it's going to be very popular, very successful, and very influential in improving standards of occupational health and safety in industry around the world. Our policy work on Europe has continued to take a lot of time and effort as we enter the next stage of the Brexit discussions. We've consulted very widely with industry stakeholders, consumer community, industry, government and indeed spoken to our European colleagues around the continuing role of BSI's full membership of Sen and Senelec post-Brexit. We've had very, very strong support for our position that the UK must continue to remain a full member and that as we continue to follow the rules of Sen and Senelec, we will be able to do that. So we will work on that uh, during this year. It's been a great opportunity to increase our conversation with industry, with industry associations and the consumer community about the value that standards bring to our economy, not just in terms of safety, uh, but in terms of competitiveness, economic advantage, trade and innovation. There's increasing work to do as the digital economy breaks over the UK like a tsunami. This is beginning to affect all aspects of industry standards work and we need to understand how, where and where the UK can assert global leadership in this very important new chapter of industrial development. We see a lot of work to do in governance and ethics and in the interoperability of digital uh, technology across different platforms. We've launched an IoT community to try and better integrate industry stakeholders to understand their use cases and to begin to offer uh, wider services around the implementation and uptake of new standards. One of our most important activities is around innovation, helping emerging technologies reach the market faster. Standards can play a really important role in accelerating the take up of new technologies globally and with it delivering competitive advantage. So work in the areas of graphene, for example, or smart cities, uh, building information, all of these bring new innovations to market more swiftly. We've been working in recent months with government on the industrial strategy, the new great challenge funds where we see uh, focus for the UK and the opportunity for standards to deliver uh, effect across that space, and also in the digital economy, where artificial intelligence is becoming increasingly subject to great public interest where standards have an important role to play, particularly around governance, ethics, interoperability. So our work on financial services, to factories of the future, to cities and digital health, all coming together under our new IoT community platform, where we hope to attract experts from around the world to discuss the use cases that they want and the new standards and codes and good practice that they'll see to see the delivery of these new technologies and the advantage to our economy and to our society. So we look forward to another big year in 2018. Lots of work to do around innovation, a focus on the built environment, the digital economy, our international national policy activity. But above all, I'd like to say thank you to our committee chairs and committee members, without whom none of this would be possible. Our function as the National Standards Body is to serve industry, to serve society, and to serve the delivery of government policy in a neutral and independent way. We are respected around the world for the leadership that we demonstrate in international, European and national standards making. I look forward very much to working with you in the future. Thank you.